Well, hello and welcome to this vlog. I am Matthew Corey, the Christian YouTuber, uh, also ex-Irish mobster and ex-Satanist, saved by grace, and now I'm a Christian author, and uh, you can find my book, How to Hear the Voice of God, I don't know if you can see that real well there, at, uh, at Wal uh, not Walmart, but barnesandnoble.com and on Amazon, and, uh, yep, I, uh, I'm an ex-Satanist and, uh, ex-Irish mobster, now an evangelist and Christian author, and, um, you know, I just want to talk to you today about, you know, are, are you living for Christ? Are we living for Christ, you know? Um, and I'm going to read a few verses out of, uh, this, uh, David Jeremiah Turning Points, um, magazine to you and uh, give you some exhortation in the Lord but um, you know it's really an interesting question because a lot of us you know go through our lives and we're we're just we're not doing anything for the Lord we're not uh, we're not seeking to save people who are lost through the power of the Holy Spirit um, we're not uh, we're not um, uh, you know, we're not in our walk with the Lord. We're not, um, we're not, uh, really just, we're not living for him day by day. And we're not really seeking, you know, one of the things I do is I hand out little tracks, you know, and I don't have one on hand here with me, but, um, you know, it's just amazing when you hand out these tracks, you know, I was, I was, handing out one to a girl today. You know, I even hand them out to people who are Christians, you know, even if we have a little conversation. And that's an encouragement in the Lord when you sit there and hand a tract out to somebody who's already a Christian. You know, you're encouraging them in the faith, you know. It's amazing, you know. And we just got to think about that. Are, are we really living for Christ, you know, every day of our lives? Are we doing things? Are we going out of our way to... Um, to really seek uh, lost people to to have an impact for Christ. You know, I have an impact through my books and through um, social media on uh, Instagram. I have like 30-some thousand. You can follow me on Instagram, by the way. I'll have a link in the description. I'll have a link in the description for my books as well. But, um, you know, you can really, you know, you it, it's just amazing what God has done in my life and what he has allowed me to accomplish, you know. I mean, who would have thought that I'd write a couple of books and, you know, sell them on Amazon and then Walmart would start selling them and Barnes and & Noble and all of that. I mean, you know, and I'll tell you something. God has, we, we deserve to, you know, we need to live for Christ because, um, you know, the thing is, is that, um, God deserves to have our best and God deserves to uh, have us live for him because he has done so much for us in our lives and um, given us so much hope. But, you know, here's a verse here. This is Second Peter 1, 3 that talks about, uh, this is what it says, as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. So, you know, the Lord has called us to godliness, you know, and virtue, and we need to think about those things in our lives and um, what what it really means to be a Christian, what it means to be on fire for the Lord, you know. And, um, you know, it's not always an easy thing, but, um, you know, it's just something that, uh, that, that the Lord really wants us to do, you know, is be on fire for him and really be looking at these little ways we can, we can live our lives for the Lord. Are we praying for people? You know, are we praying, um, for persecuted Christians? You know, I have this, uh, magazine let me get it here real quick um it's voice of the martyrs and this magazine here in this magazine i pray for christians and i give money to voice of the martyrs 
you know, and support their ministry. And, you know, that's such an important thing, and that's a free magazine you can get from Voice of the Martyrs, you know, to pray for persecuted Christians and read the articles in there. But, um, you know, let me uh, read another verse to you that pertains to this. It's Psalm 1-2, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. So we meditate on God's word. We fill our minds with God's word, you know, when we're living for Christ. And, uh, you know, I'm constantly reading Christian books and um, constantly seeking, you know, what are some ways that I can encourage people in the Lord. So that would be my exhortation to you is to think about, you know, are you really living for Christ and are you having an impact for Christ in the world around you and are you seeking to really um, have an impact and really doing what you can do, you know, if we think about all the things we can't do, we can make time for, you know, instead of watching the television program, instead of whatever, there's lots of time throughout our day when we're actually not busy doing anything that we can actually live for Christ and um, we can have an impact for his kingdom. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, it really help the ministry. And if you'd like to donate you can to the ministry, you can go to matthewcorey.org and, uh, you can donate to the ministry that way, and uh, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on The Christian YouTuber. <laughs>